The 150th anniversary of the Battle of Mobile Bay is being commemorated in a number of ways in the coming days. And today, a stamp was unveiled marking the occasion. Fox News reporter Matt Berentine is live from Dolphin Island and close to where that battle was fought 150 years ago. Yeah, Lanise, let me uh, set the stage for you. This is Mobile Bay, of course, the mouth of Mobile Bay. New Orleans was taken in 1862, so for two years, this body of water became the most important body of water in the Confederacy. Then in August of 1864, on one morning, one Union admiral made a gutsy call that changed the course of U.S. history. On the morning of August 5, 1864, Rear Admiral David Farragut led a Union fleet into Mobile Bay. There, under tremendous fire from Fort Morgan and approaching a field of underwater mines, which took out one of their lead ships. Farragut had a choice to make, and he made it when he uttered the famous phrase, Dan the torpedoes, full speed ahead. He really had no choice because if he, if he had stopped the fleet where it was, uh, you were only 100. 100 yards off of Fort Morgan, and the guns at Fort Morgan were just blown the fleet to pieces. Farragut didn't stop, and Mobile was cut off. The battle was pivotal because Mobile was a lifeline for the Confederacy to trade cotton with England for arms and supplies. Union reenactor Joseph Lessig is taking part in the anniversary commemorations. Lincoln really wanted to take that to cut off all the supplies of the South once Sherman took over Atlanta. Pretty much the South was defeated, so that pretty much secured the presidential nomination of Abraham Lincoln of 1864. After today, this pivotal battle is forever commemorated on a stamp. It was unveiled to a standing room only crowd at the Mobile Museum of History, an event that brought history to life. It feels like you're in the war and where you're in where it shows in it makes it feel a lot real. For a historian, the level of interest shown for the stamps unveiling is great to see. It's because uh, a lot of people were just not aware of how big it was and how important it was. So hopefully this will bring that to the forefront. Now the stamp itself is a recreation of a painting by Julian Davidson. It shows the Union fleet under fire at Fort Morgan. Of course, if you want to get some of those stamps, you can go to the U.S. Postal Service website. Of course, you could also go down to your local post office and get them there as well. On Dolphin Island, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Matt. And we are going to have live reports on the anniversary festivities. You can see them starting Friday morning. We will have stories from Fort Morgan and Fort Gaines. So be sure to tune in on air and online. 